All right, in this video, we're going to learn keyword research and understanding the Amazon algorithm. We will go over how the Amazon algorithm work and how your books are found. This is crucial for becoming a bestseller and achieving long-term success. You will learn how to find book topics that is already proven to sell and step-by-step -step keyword research, which is one of the most important steps along with creating a really nice book cover. So before we find a keyword, we need to identify a profitable niche. So the winning formula for a profitable niche is high demand plus low competition. And the winning formula for a successful business is profitable niche times your passion. I just wanted to include this because even if you go into a niche that you're that is profitable but you're not passionate about in the long term it gets very boring and tedious and you don't really enjoy the work because you don't really care for the niche so that is why preferably you go into a niche that you have some sort of interest in uh, and you're interested in learning more about the topic so how do you find these I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step way of doing it live on Amazon but just keep in mind this is just my guideline and this is how I do it Everybody does it differently. Everybody has their own criteria. This is the numbers that I go off of. So you can use it as a guideline, but you can break it if you want to. But in the beginning, it's good to follow it just as a guideline. And once you get more experience, you can create your own profitability criteria. But the way I do it, I think it's the best because it relies on actual data that Amazon gives you. All right, so in terms of finding a profitable niche, you want to go to Amazon, go to bestsellers here, then scroll down to Kindle Store, Kindle eBooks. And from here, these are all the categories, right? These are the bestseller categories. So this is kind of your niche here. Pick whatever one you want to go into. Um, let's try crafts, hobbies, and home. So you want to break it down as much as you can. So you want to go into a sub niche here or subcategory. Let's try how to and home improvements. And we can even go deeper. I feel like that's going to be too small, but if you're in a big niche, I think it's going to be too small for like crafts, hobbies and home, but if you're in a big niche like business and money or self-help, you can go even deeper and go into a sub subcategory here. But what you want to do once you get to the category page is just find a pattern, you know, what is trending, right? So if you keep seeing the same topic popping up in the top 25 pages or at least the first page of the, you know, paid category here, then that means it's a niche or it's something that is trending. Um, so as an example, just start looking at the book topic. We have survival foods, we have tidying up, so organizing. This is home remodeling. We have minimalism, off-grid, decluttering. So now we have a pattern here. Tidying up and decolor decluttering is kind of the same thing as organizing home. Also, minimalism is related to that. Um, we got organizing again, minimalism, Huga, organizing. Okay, so as you can see, tidying up or just organizing your home is a trend here or pattern that we found so that is a niche if you're interested in this niche you can go into it uh, and then also minimalism is a trend that we find try to find at least like three of the same theme showing up to identify a pattern but again this is a minimalism book so we can say that minimalism organizing your home is a theme that we found and it kinda goes hand in hand right so you can make a book of minimalism and you can also go into the same niche under the same pen name because it's related but before you identify if this is a good niche or not you want to know if it's profitable you want to make sure the category or this you know all these books are profitable so the easiest way to do this is with Katie Spy uh, you can simply click here it's a Chrome extension uh, you have to pay for it it's $47 but it makes the process very easy so it just scrapes all the data so this is the first page first 20 books and uh, so just look at the first 20 books that is fine and you can see the sales rank here so the sales rank generally the lower the better right um, the lower it is the more it is selling because the bestseller rank if it's number one it is the number one sold book in the whole 
Kindle store. So uh, basically what you want to do is find a niche that is preferably all top 20 books are under 30,000 BSR. So in this case, this fits very well to that criteria. Um, but no more than I would say five books under 5,000 because if all 20 books are under 5,000 BSR, that'll be too competitive. Uh, but in this case, there are a few that are under 5,000, but most are between the 10 to 30,000. So I would say this category is, you know, it kind of fits into perfectly that criteria. Um, so what you could do, well, that is the easy way. And also Katie Spy is pretty cool because you can see like what kind of words are being used, you know, in the titles and then kind of find trends. Obviously organizing is showing up there. Uh, that's kind of how I use it. Besides that, you can ignore this. Um, this is co pretty cool to see, but but yeah, that is Katie Spy. I highly recommend it to grab it if you can. I'll put the link to it in the description below. Now, if you don't have Katie Spy, this is the free way of doing it. Basically, is to open up book one and maybe book ten and maybe book twenty. So you open them up, and what you want to do is just scroll down and then here you can see the bestseller rank showing up but you have to do this each time one by one so it's very very tedious but that is the free way of doing it now I do wanna let you know that there is a free alternative to KD Spy I do still recommend KD Spy because it's just a one-time payment of forty seven dollars but if you wanna save some money uh, if you're kinda tight in terms of budget then you can get this free Chrome extension it's DS Amazon quick view just look it up on the Chrome store and then what it will do is just pull up the BSR rank right under the book here so you can see it so that is how you find a niche so keep on searching and just you can check other categories too here and just make a list or write down you know all the trends that you find Again, what's important here is you want to find what is already working. You want to f you're trying to find a niche that is profitable because you don't want to go and create a niche or create a book on a topic that no one's buying, right? We're not trying to reinvent a wheel here. You want to just do what is already working and what is already working is what is profitable. So that's why we're trying to find a profitable niche so we can kind of go in and carve our little share of the market. All right, so next let's talk about keyword research so now we found a niche which we can kind of call it I guess how to and home improvement just like the category or we can call it like minimalism organizing the house that kind of thing uh, doesn't really matter what the name is but you get the idea of what type of books um, we should check for keyword research so the there's again freeway and then the paid way which is using a software called publisher rocket to do this uh, Publisher Rocket is a one-time payment of $97. I highly recommend it. I mean, Publisher Rocket is a must-have. Katie Spy you can replace with DS Amazon Quick View, but Publisher Rocket is a must just because not just for keyword research, you can use it for AMS ads, and you kind of need that software to run AMS ads. So I'll put the link to that in the description below, but first I'll show you the free way of doing it. The free way of doing it is to go into the search bar and type in whatever keyword that is suitable here. So obviously from the niche we can say um, organizing or I guess decluttering your home is a better term. Decluttering your home. Okay. Oh, so what you want to do here is Amazon gives you suggestions on keywords other potential keywords that people are typing in so as you type in here you see the suggestions pop up these are all keywords that people are using to search for a book so you want to start writing this down whatever that is relevant of course so decluttering at the speed of life um, you can write it down, but I do think this is a book title. Okay, yeah, it is showing up here. Generally, a book title, you don't want to use it as a keyword because it, it could be trademarked and whatnot, unless it's a generic term. 
uh, decluttering your home free book. So when it whenever it says free, um, I usually skip it because we're not trying to rank in keywords that contains free because everybody who goes there is just looking for free books and we're trying to make money here and you know rank at a paid book. Uh, again, this you skip this because it also has the author name and you never want to use a author name in your book title. So decluttering your home, write this down. Uh, decluttering books. Generally, I don't really put books in the title. And decluttering for dummies, this is a trademark. So for anything for dummies is a trademark. Now again, it's tricky to really know what's trademarked or not in the beginning. But just as a general rule of thumb, anything for dummies is trademarked. So decluttering and organizing, you want to write that down because it's pretty generic, right? So, you know, it's a potential keyword that we can use as our book title. So as an example, we can try another keyword like minimalism here and you get the idea. Minimalism for families is a potential one. Minimalism, minimalism room for room, minimalism and decluttering, minimalism home. So that is how you want to write down all the potential keywords that you're in. And you want to start checking each one, one by one. So as you type in the keyword here, click search and you will get the results here. If you have Katie Spy or Amazon Quick View, you can see the bestseller rank of the entire thing on page one. So generally speaking, you want as many books on page one or on the keyword profitable because if everybody else is profitable, that means the keyword is profitable. Um, if you can find at least the first 10 books under a BSR of 50,000, that is very good. And that is just another guideline, that is just a number that I set as a guideline. But you can see most, um, there are some that are over 90,000, and this is 95,000, but the rest is under 50,000, except this one here. So it looks pretty good in terms of that. Now another thing you want to consider looking at is the search results here. So the search results are like how many books are showing up under this keyword and most likely they're using a variation of this keyword in their title or the subtitle that is why they're showing up when people search for this so 926 results that is pretty good anything under 3000 is good I would say and even if it's over 3000 it's still you know doable um, so again it's just a guideline that I go after but I like to go under 3000 and this is uh, the lower the better Okay, so, you know, of course, the lower means there's less competition, so it is always better uh, to have it, you know, lower the better, of course, provided if the keyword is profitable. So most of the top 10 books are under 50,000 BSR, and all of them are under 100,000. The search results is good, too. Another thing you want to consider is if any of the books on the first page is using the actual keyword decluttering your home now this has to be a exact match the reason why you want to look for exact matches is because the more exact matches you can find the more it kind of confirms that this keyword is the the factor in bringing in traffic bringing in sales and making this keyword profitable or making the books profitable so let's scroll down and start looking so we got so look for decluttering your home and we have decluttering the speed of life. It is not the same, and this is an ad anyway, so really the keyword doesn't matter. Um, this is also an ad. But then again, decluttering your home, it's not a exact keyword or exact match. So, you know, since it's related, right, decluttering, it is telling you that the niche is has demand. People are looking for the topic of decluttering. But is there other keywords that we can rank for, you know, that might be better, right? That is why we're looking for exact matches here. Um, so keep going. All right, so we have Decluttering Your Home right here. It looks like a self-published book. And uh, the sales rank is 95,000, so it is not too good. Let's see if we can find another one. So this book right here, it is not an exact match, but it has declutter and organize your home. 
very very similar so you know it is telling you that the theme itself is profitable we're just trying to find you know the keyword here organizing your house decluttering your home I mean the sales rank is bad but it's because bad reviews I feel like the first book too it's because the cover wasn't good decluttering and organizing your home how to declutter your homes so almost there uh, declutter your home 126,000 again you know the cover isn't really good so it's not selling alright so we only found two books that are actually using the keyword in the title and they're not really selling just because I feel like the cover isn't there and the other one had bad reviews so that is something that you have to look at right and it, it kinda gets tricky here because even if the keyword is good you know if the cover of that competition or this one as you can see got bad reviews here so that might be affecting the sales and the keyword might actually still be profitable but another reason we're looking for exact matches here the reason why is because if we identify this keyword as profitable but nobody else is using the actual keyword in the title or the subtitle if you use the keyword in your book title then it's gonna be that much easier to actually rank for this keyword and ranking means just showing up in the search results here because if somebody types in a keyword such as decluttering your home and your book shows up on page one with the title decluttering your home it's perfect for them they're going to buy it and it's just free traffic you know so that is the ultimate goal is to rank for relevant keywords and so that's what ranking means so because Amazon is a search engine just like Google or YouTube there is SEOs that you can do which is search engine optimization so that is why you want to put the exact keyword that you want to rank for in the title or at least the subtitle title is better and I'll go into it more in later videos on creating better titles but because nobody else is actually using this keyword and if you use it that is why it's that much easier to rank for it so that was a free way of doing it now I'll show you how to do it with publisher rocket so just go to keyword search here then you can type in a complete you know decluttering your home keyword but what I like to do is type in just one word uh, the beginning of the phrase because publisher rocket will show you all the suggestions and so it's kinda of better to just start with just one word or I'll show you what I mean so decluttering so as you can see it gives you all these suggestions just like how we got the Amazon auto suggestions in the search bar it pulls up uh, a much much more suggestions here and then you can start analyzing it so as you can see I already analyzed too but if you analyze here it'll give you the competitive score estimated Amazon search per month and this is the metric that you cannot get by doing it the free way because there's no way to know in the free way of doing this and then you get Google search per month usually this is NA usually it doesn't matter average monthly earning and number of competitors so this is the search results that we found on Amazon right so what's important is the number of competitors estimated Amazon search per month and competitive score so the competitive score only goes up to a hundred so if it's a hundred I try to avoid it because it might be more you know but it's only showing a hundred so I try to go lower than a hundred of course lower the better with this one and with estimated Amazon search per month you want to go you know preferably in the thousands uh, at least a couple hundred and so and this is higher the better and for the number of competitors I like to do under 3,000 as I mentioned earlier so if you look at this right decluttering your home looks very good because 915 1195 and then a competitive score is under 100 it's 80 so it looks very very good and that pretty much tells us that the keyword is profitable so it's a lot easier than the freeway so what you could do right is just keep writing down potential keywords here that shows profitability so decluttering and organizing also looks very good and skip anything that seems like a uh, book title or author name inside and just go for generic terms again 
So decluttering at the speed, skip that. Seems like this one book is just dominating the entire um, searches here. Decluttering checklist might be good. It's decent. Um, this could be your lead magnet idea because it has some interest in it, you know, and it's it's a good checklist usually do really good for lead magnets, so might be an idea here. A decluttering guide, decluttering home, decluttering habits might be a good one. So just like that, you know, you have so many ideas on different keywords and you want to make a book um, each of this. So you just want to tackle one keyword per book. And that is why you can make a book on decluttering your home. And then the next book could be decluttering guide. The next book could be decluttering habits. I wouldn't make a second book on this one because it's kind of overlapping. But by doing this, now you have a series and a brand of books built under this niche of decluttering. Another cool thing you can do with Publisher Rocket is go into this competition analyzer. And for this one, you want to type in the actual keyword you're trying to publish in. So put the full thing. So decluttering your home. And what it does is it'll show you all the competition that is ranking for this keyword. But this is the cool part. So keyword T and keyword ST means keyword in the title and keyword in the subtitle. So just like what we did by manually searching on Amazon and checking each book, Publisher Rocket does it for you. So when it says no, that means they don't have the exact decluttering your home in the title or the subtitle. So again, if nobody else is really using that keyword, then it'll be much easier to rank in terms of SEO. So this book has it in the title, so that is why it's showing yes. So it's a super useful tool. And then you can check the covers, the title, the BSR age, you know, all useful information. And then you can check the actual uh, product page on Amazon here. So the final thing I want to go over is you want to make sure you're checking the paperback and the audiobook BSR2. For paperback, if you have Publisher Rocket, it's very easy because you just go to book here and do the same thing and it'll show you, you know, the competition score. If you want to check the actual BSR, you can just go to the competition analyzer part and do the same thing or come in here and uh, simply open a book click on the paperback side and check the BSR. You can do this with Katie Spy too. So you can search the keyword on the book department and then you run Katie Spy and it'll show you the BSR. And it's the same with audiobooks. So you can click on the audiobook, check the BSR. Now the, the BSR numbers that you want to use as a guideline for audiobook and paperback will be different because there's different numbers of books published on Amazon. With paperback, it's a little more competitive. So anything under 100,000 actually is selling pretty well. Um, and for audiobook, I am not too sure to be exact. With audiobook, I just look at the Audible store and the search results for it. So what I do generally is I just look at the Audible store here and I type in the keyword and I look at the search results. It doesn't tell you the BSR, but in terms of search results, anything under 100 is very good because it's very easy to rank on the first page. There's not much competition. Anything over 100, it's still doable, definitely. You should always make a audiobook version of your book if you think the book topic is suited for audio. Of course, if you have like a cookbook or very image heavy books, then you probably wouldn't want to make it on audiobook because it doesn't it probably wouldn't sell so well however you can always try and you never know but in this case right 69 results so it's gonna be pretty easy to rank in page one and even if it has 300 results again you should still make a audiobook version of it if you think the book topic is suited for audio so that's what I do I just check the search results for audible and I go off of that because I'm not really afraid of investing in audiobook because almost always I make my money back. Uh, but if you really want to go off numbers, then what you could do is if you look at the audiobook version uh, on Amazon.com, it does tell you BSRs. 
However, I'm not too sure what exactly is a really good BSR for audiobook. From my experience, looks like anything under 10,000 is like really good for audiobooks and anything under like 30,000 is still pretty good. So, but that's just like me guessing, so you can go off of that number there and maybe, you know, as you research more, you can start seeing what the average BSR is for audiobook and you can go off that. But with paperback, under 100,000 is pretty good in my opinion. With Kindle, you want to be under minimum 50,000. And the reason why I want you to check all three platforms is because some topics do well on one platforms and then the other, such as image heavy books will do really well uh, on paperback and such as cookbooks tends to do really well on paperbacks. But keywords that are more suited for audiobooks such as self-improvement, business, even some diet guys, as long as it's not a cookbook, do really well on audiobook. So that is why you want to keep in mind on all three platforms. Just because Kindle is not profitable doesn't mean the keyword is bad or not profitable because some keywords literally, you know, the Kindle BSR is terrible, but if you look at the paperback, they are all selling really well. Or if you look at the audiobook, it's like selling really, really well. So that is why even if Kindle is not making any money, if you can make money on paperback or audio, you're making more money this way and it's actually better because you're getting higher royalties for each paperback sale or audiobook sales. So definitely keep that in mind and check everything. Alright, that's it for the video. Hopefully it made sense to you. So if you still have questions, uh, please join the Facebook group. I'll put the link in the description and you can ask others for their opinion or any questions you have. Try to find at least 10 good keywords because for some you want to make a separate book for it to create a series and some you will want to put it in the 7 keywords section and I'll talk more about that in later videos. And when I say 10 keywords, this is all in the same niche. So if you only can find few keywords, you can still try it, but preferably you find a niche that is profitable and you can find 10 profitable keywords inside of it. All right, it's time to do some research. So go and spend a few days to a week researching your potential niche and keywords. Come up with a list of profitable keywords. And again, link to all the tools mentioned in this video is in the description below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.